and we're off. We have the Realme 3 on the left hand side, we have the Honor 8X in the middle, and we have the Samsung Galaxy M30 on the right hand side. Now the Realme 3 has the Helio P60 and it's already taken the lead there into that blood, isn't it? Now into the 2048 test, while the Kirin 710, which we find in the Honor 8X, is still in the blur test. And actually that's now just been pipped into the 2048 test by the Exynos 7904, which we find in the Galaxy M30. But look at this, the Helio P60 is already in the blur test. The other two devices are still there in the 2048. As I say that, the other two devices now get into the blur test, but the Helio P60 in the Realme 3 is now into the SQL light test. That's not really running very fast. In fact, look at that, the Kirin 710, the Honor 8X just tore its way through the SQL light, as did the M30. And actually the Helio P60 has lost loads of time there in that SQL light test. Now all three devices are now back in the 3D cube. That is really neck and neck at this point. And the M30 just popping into the lead there into the 2D gaming test, followed by the Honor 8X, followed by in third place at the moment, the Realme 3. This is all neck and neck. This could go any way at the moment. And now we find that the Galaxy M30 is first into the 16 thread test, followed by the Honor 8X and now the Realme 3. Now what's interesting is the M30 using the Exynos 7904, which actually is a two plus six setups. There are two Cortex A73 cores and six Cortex A53 cores. The other two devices are using four of each. And so actually we can see that the Kirin 710 has clearly taken the lead now. It's going to get to the end of that test first. It has and it's now gone into the unity test. So the, the M30 has lost out there because of that two plus six setup. And now the Helio P60 is into the unity test. And finally now we're seeing the M30 go into the unity test. Now this unity test is going to be interesting because each of these three devices have very different uh, GPU setups. So if we look at the Realme 3 there on the left hand side, we can actually see that it has a Mali G72 with three shader cores. That's the Mali G72 MP3. Whereas the Kirin 710 that we find in the Honor 8X actually has a G51, there's a Mali G51, that's a lower powered version of the G71, but it has four shaded cores, it's an MP4. And then in the Galaxy M30 on the right hand side, we actually find a G71, so that's the oldest generation of all these three uh, GPUs, but it's only got two shaded cores. So we've got two shaded cores versus three shaded cores versus four shaded cores. We've got the G71 versus the G72 versus the G51, so which one is gonna come in first? Now looking at this, it looks to me as as if the Pelio, Helio P60 is actually slightly in the lead at this point, and it looks like the Exynos 7904 is struggling there. There seems to be quite a lot of jerkiness in that rendering that's coming up there. The, uh, the other two are looking pretty close at the moment. We're gonna see which one finally comes out first. They're both making their way down to this castle scene, which is the, traditionally the hardest scene to render in this uh, run that we have here. A lot of phones really struggle here right at the very end. It seems to be neck and neck at the moment. I think the P60 is just slightly closer. The P60, of course, has got the G72, uh, G72 with MP3, and it has its finished first. It's gone into the compression test. So this really is really quite Amazing for the P60 at this point. It looks like it could win because the Kirin 710 in the Honor 8X is not yet actually out. That is really struggling there on that castle zine. Could you? And that's it. The tie is finished. The P60, the Realme 3 is coming with 3 minutes and 25 seconds. Now, looking at this, it really struggled there on the Honor 8X. It really, really did crawl to a slow there, but it's finally managed to get to the end of the test run. It's now also into the compression test. Surely this is going to be under four minutes. There's not that much of a difference here between the two but certainly the Kirin 710 is coming in last place there we go three minutes and 48 seconds now while we're waiting for this to finish in the Galaxy M30 and I look at the speed of that I think we might be waiting just a few more seconds it's also worth mentioning that the screen resolutions do play a part because obviously when you're doing 3d rendering all those pixels have to be rendered now interestingly enough the uh, the uh, M30 and the Honor 8x have the highest resolution screens that's uh, full HD plus so that's 2340 by 1080, whereas the uh, Realme 3 has the lowest screen resolution, and I'm sure that also helped in its overall speed test run there. It has only HD+, so not even full HD, HD+, at 1520 by 720. And now the Galaxy M30 is coming into its final moments there. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I hope you liked the video. Please like, please subscribe. Let's see the final time. Four minutes and 42 seconds. And well, that's it.